Welcome to the Caddo Convos, the podcast that explores the vibrant community of businesses thriving in Caddo Office Reimagined. We're here to shine a light on the incredible entrepreneurs and professionals who make the most of our private offices, co-working spaces, and day office rentals in the Dallas, Fort Worth suburbs. Join us as we share their stories, celebrate their successes, and dive into the benefits of working in a space that's close to home, but offers so much more than working from home. Let's get started with today's conversation. On this episode, we're joined by Larry Gilrath of Herf Harmony. Larry, thank you for joining me on the show today. I'm so glad to have you as a guest. Thanks, buddy. Happy to be here. Wonderful. So let's jump right in and let's talk about the benefits you provide to your customers. Let's talk about what you do. Great. On average, there's about five new cigars that get introduced to the market every week. And so as a cigar smoker, it's hard to find a cigar that actually fits your taste, your preference. And so what we do for our customers is we put them on a personalized journey of their cigar smoking adventures. We take what they like, um, we break down their favorite stick and look at the filler, the binder, the wrap and then the additional spices, and then we send them cigars that fit that same flavor palette every month. We give them an opportunity to provide us feedback, so that way they help us build the model and make it more in line with what they appreciate, and so it just gets better every month, more cigars that they really enjoy. So talk to me about, one, what spawned this idea? Yeah. So uh, the pandemic changed a lot of us, right? (laughs) During the pandemic, there wasn't really much to do. Cigar lounges were still open. You bet. And so I had never been a cigar fan. I went to a cigar lounge with a buddy just to get out of the house. And he handed me a Padron 1964 Presidente. And I was like, this is a great stick. That was the only stick I smoked for about a year. (laughs) And as people would say, hey, you should try this. This is a good stick. I would try it and say, this is horrible. Yeah, that's this not, is this is garbage. Once you've had this one, you yeah, your flavor. Yeah. yeah. And so I got to a point where coming from my technology background, I said, you know, there has to be sticks like Padron that I could smoke. And it wasn't until my youngest ventured off to Wichita for college and I was trying to find, you know, Padron in Wichita at a cigar lounge that I said, okay, what what tastes like a Padron? <laughs> And the guy was like, nothing. I'm like, oh, that can't be true. Challenge accepted. There you go. (laughs) So I went out. um, I I started looking at all the components that are in that Padron. I started looking at, you know, how cigars are made, how, how, where the filler comes from, where the wrapper comes from, how it's box pressed or a Maduro, how all of that shapes the flavor palette of it. And then being a tech guy, I put it into an AI model and said, okay, can I now predict cigars that I would like based on my love for Padron? And I tell you, buddy, it, it worked. It got to a point where I was smoking cigars every day that I really enjoyed yeah. at various price points. Excellent. And then when people would ask, well, how'd you know you'd like that one? I'd tell them, ah, I built a model. <laughs> and eventually people started saying, well, I like this. What else should I try? Yeah. And that's when it dawned on me, like, this model could be valuable. But I really struggled with it for a little while, buddy, on how to monetize it. And it wasn't until I thought about, well, instead of me telling you these are cigars that, buddy, I think you'll really like because you like this one, what if I sent them to you? What if every month I sent you a box of cigars and provided you a way to provide us feedback to say, yep, your model was correct on one, correct on two, three, eh, Four, really didn't like. And so with that feedback, we improve the model. And with each month, you get more cigars that are more better personalized to your flavor palette. So, Larry, tell me, I know you're using a, some type of AI. AI is all the rage right now. And for people who are trying to um, adapt, we're using the Internet to basically your whole business is built on them being able to order through your your website and whatnot. How are you employing AI to make all of this possible? Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> I come from a large, long background of IT. I spent a long time at Microsoft, a long time at Amazon, and I found myself this year walking away from work. Um, My mother got sick. I really wanted to spend time with her. So I walked away from work. And as I was watching this woman I love slowly die, Mm -hmm. I thought, I need a passion project. I need something because if not, I'm just sitting here living in pain. Yeah. And so I, I started playing with AI and I started playing initially with just music. 
Oh, here, interesting. Here are a list of songs that I like. There's hundreds of new songs that come out every Friday. Help me predict music or, or artists that I should go listen to. And what I found was, okay, that was fun, but I'm also spending, you know, four hours a weekend at a cigar lounge. Yeah. Why not? Why not try that? And so I started with a simple, what's called a predictive narrow model. Predictive narrow model. I'm and, writing that and, down. Yeah. yeah. And what that means is I feed it data, and I feed it data, and I I give a weight to the various attributes of the data that I feed it, and then it says, okay, now I'm going to predict what I think you'll like, and it's a standard model. For if you look at Amazon.com, for example, it predicts what products you think you may want to buy. That's a standard predictive narrow model. And so I took that, fed it with all the cigar data I can find, and then went and found more cigar data. Because yeah. the better the data you feed it, the better the predicted outcomes. Um, and then once I started actually using it, I would go in and I would train the model based on my own experience. You recommended this stick to me, this uh Oliva, <laughs> Maduro, you said it would be right in line with what I expected from a Padron. It was not. Model, you failed me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now yeah. let's improve. Try again. Yeah. Science. Exactly. Yeah, it's a scientific exactly. method. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and so that's, that's really the extent of the AI. I know generative AI is the big buzz right now, but gen- I, I'm not asking AI to generate anything new. I'm just asking it to do a simple prediction. What is your current target group right now? I, I, you're on the internet, so it could be anybody. And then um, talk about the range of cigars, like sourcing and things like that. Where are these coming from? Yeah, that's fair. So because of how I got engaged with cigars, I'm really big on the herf. And herf is a word that describes a bunch of smokers coming together. It's in the business name. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) herf harmony. And so I want to start in Texas because I want to create that sense of community around, hey, we're getting together and now we're all smoking sticks that we really, really like. Yeah. And let's talk about them. Let's share them. Let's swap. Let's let's have conversations. Let's pair them with the right scotch or whiskey. And so because of that sense of kind of in-person community, I wanted to start in Texas where I can go around and help foster some of that community. And so if you look at my website, I have two different plans. One is what I call the Let's Smoke Together plan, where you get exclusive access to a lot of really cool events. Yeah. Um, we've done some we've done some great uh, educational smokes where we brought people in to teach us how to roll cigars. Um, we've done what we call jokes and smokes where we brought in comedians to do a live show Why we actually enjoyed cigars. Um, we've, of course, done a lot of parties as well that were exclusive to individuals who are part of the Herf Harmony. Wonderful. Now, that's one plan. The other plan is the more just box only plan. And to me, that that is open to everyone to an extent because it. The reality is certain cigars are only available in certain regions. Yeah. And so if you tell me, you know, hey, my favorite stick is the Buddy uh, 5 box pressed. Well, that's only sold in Florida. I, I can't give you something that, that's like that because I don't have access to it. Right. And so I really want to start in Texas, maybe branch to Louisiana, Oklahoma, but more so just to make sure I understand the process and make sure I actually have the right – sources for some of those cigars that are a little more difficult to reach. Yeah. Um, what I predict, <laughs> and I'm using that word purposely, sure. is e- eventually I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to have to carry cigars themselves on the site because there are certain sticks that I've gained access to because, hey, I, I smoke at the lounge with this particular producer and this is a new stick. And when I put it in a box, someone comes back and says, I want more of that one. How do I get that one? Well, they're not in stores yet. <laughs> so my only option is to put them on the website so that way you can buy those single sticks direct. Now, I try as much as I can, buddy, to build relationships with the cigar lounges yeah. around DFW and around Texas. That's great. So where I can, I source my sticks from those lounges. So that way I'm not competing with them. They view me as actually a potential partner yeah. because I am buying sticks from them and I am providing them in the box. And that definitely fosters the community you're talking about. Exactly. And that's how I would, and especially in Texas, you know, yep. we, we like to like to gravitate toward those types of things. So Larry, what brought you to be, to move your operation in your office to Caddo Office Reimagined? Yeah, that's, buddy, starting a business isn't easy. 
<laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> we make it look like that, yeah, don't we? Exactly, exactly. Um, no, we don't. It's, it's tough. It's even more difficult when you're when you're selling what they call a high risk good, so yeah. alcohol, tobacco, uh, CBD, things like that. And what I found is, as I was looking at other office locations, and I'd go in and I would talk to someone, and you know, what the responses I heard were, yeah, my business is a daycare. Well. I, Wait a minute, <laughs> you're at daycare in a Regis? That doesn't make sense to yeah, me. Yeah. And so what really impressed me with Cato is as I got here, um, I got to actually meet some of the people. We really foster an environment here where people come out of their offices. They they sit in the lounge. They have conversations. They ask you what your business is. They tell you about their business. And so I've actually made a couple of connections. There's a <laughs> Havana Joe who has a business upstairs. That's not his business primary business, but he loves cigars. Yeah. And so the opportunity, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it would be misleading. Otherwise, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the opportunity to meet him, to talk about cigars with him, to gain insight, because he's been smoking way longer than I have. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of guys who have a financial services business, the opportunity to meet them just getting a cup of coffee and hear them explain, hey, here's some things you need to consider because you are doing high risk. There's different tax implications and things like that. This place has become just a wealth of knowledge of people who are kind of all rowing their boats in the same direction, building their business, getting it going, pushing hard to get to that first million dollar mark as far as a business. And so it, it feels good to be in that community. Let's talk about the customer journey. You have your website. Let's say I, I'm just starting out you just sent me the link to your website. What should I click on and how, what's the best way for me to get started? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm wanting to smoke a good cigar. Yeah. And, and that's a good point because, you know, some of the feedback I've gotten from the website is, hey, I, I wish you would just put the stuff I need to click to buy right there on front. And I purposely kind of laid out the data because I, I want to make sure people understand that what you're signing up for is just not a normal, ev- average, everyday monthly cigar box. We're really going to put the power in your hands to make sure we get you the right six. With that said, at the top, there's a link to hit shop. When you go into shop, you'll see the two plans that are offered, the less smoke together plan and then the box only plan. And if you click the box only plan, for example, you'll see the option to say, you know, hey, I only want a single box or I want to do three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Now, if you're like me, if you, I'm talking to the listeners now, I think everybody just came with it either themselves or a real close friend is like, I, I'm a, I know who's getting a gift from yeah. this, or I know yeah. who I'm directing to, right after this conversation. I was like, I need to get, direct you to the web, website. So let's talk about the best way to contact you. Obviously, the website, and for everybody, just scroll down in the show notes. Everything Larry's given to me is going to be right there for you to click on. But yeah. best way to contact? Yep. Uh, of course, the website, um, info at herfharmony.com. Great email address. And then our phone number's on the website as well. And are you, you mentioned the community, um, I, I didn't go far enough into your website, I kind of got stuck right where the cigars are. Are you fostering a community? Will you be having like kind of group meetings where, because I know I'd like to sit and have a cigar with you. So and I know the audience is like, oh, I got to meet this guy. Yeah. So are you doing a tour? Are you going to be doing something like that in the future? Talk to me about the future of the community. Yeah. And so, well, I'll start with the past. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What we've done. Yeah. Last weekend was our big launch event. And so we did an event Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. First, we did in Fuegos in McKinney. Great spot. Very big fan. Awesome spot. Yeah. Um, Great smokers, great community, and we got to have conversations. We, I brought a couple of individuals who recently launched their own cigars, and I got to share that with the community, and everyone got to try it, and we did raffles. And so that is one aspect of it that I think we're, we're going to do. I wanted to do monthly, but we're probably going to do every two weeks because it's real easy to get in there and share cigars. Um, Second, we went to Cigars International in the Colony, and we turned that into our celebration party. Brought in a DJ, brought in cake, balloons, carved out a section with NCI that— with all the comfy couches. And that's where we kind of had a herf together, why other people looked on the outside wanting to get into our herf. Um, I was shocked by how many people really enjoyed that because it felt exclusive. So we'll probably do that once every 45 days, 60 days. And then Sunday, we went to a place in Dallas called People's Last Stand. It's really known for their unique drinks. (laughs) And so we wanted to actually kind of mix the cigars with the unique flavors of alcohol. Terrific. That was a day party. 
we played the Saints. Cowboys played the Saints. Oh, so yeah. it was packed. I bet. <laughs> uh, but that type of event where we bring in a couple of stars, we brought in a couple of former players, former NBA players, um, just to kind of mingle with the group, have conversation. You're going to see a lot of that. Um, now, going forward, so we have our anchor event, big event that we're right now still scheduling. Can't go into a lot of details because contracts are still. Sure. But it's going to be a jokes and smokes. And we've had success doing that in the past. And it's going to be towards the end of this year. A um, couple of big name comedians. The plan is to actually, there's a, a couple of lounges that are buses. Pick everyone up in the lounge bus. You get to smoke. Go to the show. You have an exclusive meet and greet with the various comedians. You enjoy the show. Then you get back in the lounge bus, smoke back to your, our destination. And so that's going to be the big anchor event for all the members come the end of this year. In Terrific. between now and then, we're going to do more education classes, so more rolling classes, and we're going to do more parties based on some of those larger sporting events as well. What a great opportunity. So definitely you know, check the website. Like I said, it's in the show notes for any updates on the different calendar uh, events that he's going to be uh, hosting as, as the years go by. I mean, this yeah. is timeless. You may be listening to this sometime in 2025 or beyond. Right. But you right. Know, hopefully you join the community <laughs> and get involved and meet Larry. He's a terrific guy. Larry, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. Uh, any final thoughts? Yeah. Buddy, don't waste time smoking bad cigars. <laughs> Great advice. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I could tell you, you know, I haven't been smoking long, but I've smoked a few bad ones. And so take advantage of what Herf Harmony gives you, the opportunity to sit down every single time and puff on a stick that you really enjoy. Thank you for joining us today on the Caddo Convos podcast. A huge shout out to our incredible network of members for making our community vibrant and supportive. If you're looking to boost your productivity and reduce the isolation of working from home, consider joining us at Caddo Office Reimagine. Our spaces are designed to meet your evolving needs, support remote work, and foster a sense of community that's hard to find at home. Whether you're a startup aiming for growth a freelancer seeking a professional setting, or a company looking to optimize resources, Caddo offers a perfect blend of flexibility and innovation. By joining us, you'll be a part of a dynamic business ecosystem that helps you thrive. For more information, visit caddooffices.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Caddo Convos. <laughs>